Hello guys, Mr. Danaman2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be bringing you another PC build, um, kind of tuned towards gaming, this one's going to be for £500, so you see there, I just went found uh, <laughs> found it. We went over £5 here, but oh uh, well, so yeah, for £505, we're going to be getting a nice system, which will be pretty good at gaming, and it's going to feature the Intel Core i3-3240, and also the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. So as you guys know, um, yeah, they made the 650, then they made the TI, and um, because that sold so well, they made the Boost, which is stupid, but they are uh, but they are really nice cards. So yeah, we're going to get into this. Um, so yeah, for the CPU guys, we're going to be picking up the Intel Core i3. This is the 3240, and is a dual core clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. A nice, respectable dual core, and as you know, the uh, the uh, Intel Core series of processors are quite nice, and this i3 for the money, I believe at £84 pounds right now in the UK, is pretty nice to be honest, and yeah, you're going to get nice gaming from this, um, there's not much to say about a CPU, but this one as you can see has got two cores and four threads, so it's going to kind of act like a dual core, and you know, a dual core for £84, that's pretty damn good, that's all I'm going to say. Now, bearing in mind this is um, LG eleven, uh, this is LG eleven fifty five. Now, there's a socket. We're going to be grabbing an LG eleven fifty five motherboard. So, this is the Gigabyte GA dash B seven five M dash D three H, and this runs on the Intel B seven five chipset. This is a micro ATX motherboard and can support up to thirty two gigs of RAM. It has four USB threes. And can support RAM all the way up to 1,600 megahertz. There's not really much to say about a motherboard, but uh, yeah, well, I have more I've already said. They're kind of the key things you're looking for. As you can see here, look, you've got six SATA ports, uh, with one of them being SATA three, or as you might call it, a six gigabit port. And then you've also got uh, you know headers for USB twos and also threes. Um, you have um, just ports for your LAN in, LAN out, microphone. Or stuff like that. But the main one we're going to look for is the PCI Express. And as you can see here, look, you've got a PCI Express 2 port and also a 3 port. So for £50, that's not bad. And um, yeah, it's played by a Gigabyte, they make some good stuff. They kind of specialise in motherboards and stuff like that. Now for the RAM guys, we're going to be grabbing 8 gigs of the Crucial Ballistic Sport, uh, clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. So for this, we're going to be grabbing two 4 gig sticks because the motherboard's got four slots, so you can potentially buy another, four, you know, two 4 gig sticks in the future, and then you can have 16 gigs of RAM without having to throw away any, you know, RAM from before. So yeah, this is 65 pounds. Um, it's uh, the actual cast latency on this is uh, 10. As I said, the frequency is 1,600 megahertz. And uh, yeah, Crucial makes some good stuff, um, just like Gigabyte. And uh, this is the exact same RAM I use in my system. And my system is uh, £750. Uh, so yeah, we'll kind of leave that like this. Um, Crucial make good stuff. And actual heat spreaders on here feel really good. They feel really high quality. So kind of leave it like that. Now for the graphic card, guys, this is where we're going to be spending the most money. So for the graphic card, we're going to be grabbing the, um, the EVGA. GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. This is a super clocked graphic card. Now, £140 um, for this um, kind of, you know, tier of, of graphic card, you know, the actual 650 Ti Boost. It's quite expensive, but it's the fact that the actual boost clock on this card is amazing. And as you can see, look, uh, it runs at uh, nearly one point. Well, it runs over 1.1 gigahertz. So the boost clock is 1137 megahertz, which is simply, you know, really, really high. Um, now, I have an MSI card. I have the 760 in my build. And, uh, yeah, that, that, you know, mine can obtain an overclock somewhere near the boost clock of this. So this card is uh, quite fast. And, uh, yeah, just like all of, of the other 650 Ti boosts, this has got 768 cores. This will be a nice card, and we'll be able to play all the games you want to play these days. And fair enough, probably not in Ultra, but um, it'll manage them pretty well, and I'll say that for definite. Now, um, for the hard drive, guys, we're going to be upping kind of the uh, the storage capacity, and we're going to be grabbing a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda. This is a 3.5 five inch drive which can run on SATA 3 so you can easily plug this into, into that one slot on your motherboard and uh, yeah for £62 I don't think uh, 2TB is bad to be honest 
Um, hard drives are coming down in price because more and more people are buying SSDs. And people, quite frankly, are just buying hard drives for storage. Um, yeah, pe people with SSDs, they put their OS on the SSD and stuff like that. But um, yeah, two terabytes is good uh, for sixty-two pounds. Uh, this runs at the uh, faster speed of uh, seventy-two hundred RPM and uh, has that sixty-four megabytes of cache to kind of improve all its speeds. While um, I think it's writing where it, where it uses that. Now, for the power supply, guys, um, bearing in mind the 650 Ti boost does require, f uh, um, let's have a look, uh, the actual card in total in a build, uh, Nvidia recommends you to get a 450 watt. So we're going to get a 600, it's always, always good to go a little bit, um, just a, a little bit overkill, uh, because then, you know, the fan won't need to spin, it will get hot and that's kind of good, because that's the end of the day, you want to give yourself some headroom, head <coughs> you want to get... What you want to do is give yourself some headroom uh, for when you uh, yeah, kind of upgrade. So you can kind of upgrade your graphic card in the future and not have to worry about the power supply. So that's all good. For £56 to get a 600 watt power supply is pretty good. So yeah, this is a Corsair Builder series. Uh, this is 600 watt and this carries the uh, 80 plus bronze certification for efficiency. That kind of proves that it doesn't get hot. Makes loads of noise and it's going to blow up in a few days. So uh, yeah, it's a nice power supply. I personally have the CX600, as again I'll say in my £700 build. Um, 750 actually. But uh, yeah, the CX600, this is a nice power supply. And, and this powers all the stuff in my system. It has two 8-pin uh, connectors which split off to, uh, you know, 6 plus 2, as you know. And uh, yeah, but you know, by you know by far it's got enough connectors for anything, literally. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, look at look, it's even got uh, one uh, FDD power, so I'll kind of leave it like that. So yeah, that's a nice power supply. Now lastly guys, for a case, this is personally my case, which I have in my builds. Um, I've chosen a lot of parts in here that are kind of from my build, including the case, the power supply, and the actual uh, RAM. Now this Shark Room Bulldozer, I believe this is only available in the UK. But it, you know, yeah, I, I personally, um, I'm not too sure. But you know, I am kind of, you know, half sure that this is only available in the UK. This is forty-eight pounds, and it has USB three on the front. Now I kind of know this case inside out because I have this case. You know, it's under my desk right now. It's a nice case. Um, there's a load of stuff to put fans, and uh, for the price, I think it's good because you get two USB twos on the front, two USB threes on the front. Audio on microphone on the front, you get your power, your reset button, you've got a fan that intakes out on the bottom, two LEDs on the top, a fan that exhausts uh, in out, out of the back, uh, you can potentially fit uh, two fans on the top, uh, they can be 12cm, uh, uh, they can be 14cm, I'm not too sure if you can fit uh, kind of a higher size fan on there, yeah, that's you. so you can fit, uh, let's have a look, you can fit um, two 12 centimeters, two 14 centimeters, or one 18 centimeter. The top is actually really big. Now, I personally, you know, from experience of this case on on, on the top, is like you know really kind of open it, and you know it's like that so you can put a fan on there and get your air out, uh, well the hot air out of the case, which is always good. This also does sport an actual acrylic window. Um, that's pretty good. I must say that picture is quite deceiving because it's kind of tinted glass. Fair enough, you can see inside. I'm just saying it is tinted. So let me kind of give you a lecture about a case because I own it. But we'll kind of, you know, we'll kind of stop there. So, yes, there's the build. £105. It's quite nice, quite respectable. And we'll be able to play, in my head, all your games that you want to play. Um, apart from Metro, because Metro is just strange. That game's awful in terms of what the people who made the game kind of optimised it as. But yeah, that game runs horrible on every single PC, but we'll leave it like that. So yeah, found on five pounds, there we are. 505 pounds, not bad, excuse my French, and uh, that's about it. Anyway guys, feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And if you have any questions about this build, please feel free to ask me in the uh, comments, or drop me an email. My email, as again, is always in the description for every single video. If you guys are always kind of tuning into my channel for a new video every day. And uh, yeah, that'll be it guys, goodbye.